Hi muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having the best day ever. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and on my channel today. I really appreciate your time. If you're hearing a new little voice around the apartment, it is because I am babysitting my friend's little puppy. So if you hear that, you're not going insane. It is not any animal that you do not have. It's not one of your animals. It is my friend's little puppy and I'm babysitting them. So... She's dying for her nap right now, but I don't think we're gonna stay that way. <laughs> so let's just crack on with the video. So yesterday we made a video and it was about Moses's ex speaking up against Trisha and Moses. Today we have an influx of content. We have like way more than what we could have ever anticipated that we would have had yesterday. Uh, they are completely going after them, speaking their mind, not holding back, and almost doing like AMAs, which is like Ask Me Anythings on Reddit about Moses and Trisha. And we're gonna get into that. I was seeing a lot of mixed opinions yesterday on my videos because believe it or not, I spend most of my time in my comment section reading through what you all have to say. Um, and I love, by the way, responding to and hearting most people's comments, but at the same time in doing that, just know that if I haven't done that to your comment, I have read it. It's just sometimes people will tweet me if I've liked someone's comment just because I'm like grateful that they watched the video and it's maybe an opinion that I don't have. And then they're like, is this your opinion? And I'm like, no, I just love the muckers. Like they can have their own opinions. I was seeing split opinions. Um, one section of you were like, I'm so glad that this ex isn't refusing to speak down and isn't letting Trisha's power scare them away. Oh, I'm going to get my Red Bull actually, because I am in a Red Bull mood today. So I was seeing comments like that. And then I was seeing other comments that were basically stating that why is the ex still talking about this? And if this was any other like YouTube duo where an ex was still speaking up, the people would be like, this is really weird. So again, I was seeing a little bit of a mixed reaction there. I'm excited to see what you have to say about this now that we have way more information about the behind the scenes. So let's just get into it. So let me know what you're drinking for today's video. Let me know. I'd love to know. A lot of you drink green tea. A lot of you drink water. A lot of you also on the Red Bull. I shouldn't even be saying that because I'm not fucking sponsored. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. So the username is catnips. And I find out through reading this that catnips, because a lot of you are asking which ex this is, because a lot of you think that it's Daphne who has been outspoken about Moses in the past. It is not Daphne. Apparently, allegedly, it is someone who dated him before Daphne and Moses said that like they never dated or something like that. Again, which he's like denied about every single one. Also, I have butterflies. Oh, yep, yeah, I have my Crocs on. I have butterflies on here, just symbolizing Mariah Carey. And also, before we get in, when do we take down the Christmas tree? When does it come down? now or like in between what is this fucking in between period between christmas and new year's eve okay so the user stated who allegedly is one of moses x i don't need to explain anything to you also if you know how emotional gaslighting or a b u s e works you wouldn't be asking the question if you have been following the situation then you would also know when i explained it the 20 other times that he made it seem like he was in a one-time accident and he's never been committed, but moving forward, he refused to use protection, if you know what I mean. Oh, I don't know why I had to, anyways. Um, and until Daphne came forward about her situation, I didn't realize that this is a thing that he has a pattern of doing, again. And as previously stated, no, I have not filed charges. This is something that Daphne has plans of doing. I never mentioned filing charges. The same way some of you on here harass me about proving S. How the hell am I going to prove this like two years later? This can't even, they can't even examine your body after this act. So they can't do it this time around so far, you know, after it's happened. It's so easy to sit behind a computer and play judge and detective, but you definitely are not putting your feet in the shoes of victims. So that is the first one. And then someone responded saying, I'm so sorry that you feel the need to explain yourself. I'm sending love and healing to you. Fuck Moses. They responded saying, I truly believe in karma and he's going to face this. Um, good luck, man child. Then we go on. Someone said, I know karma's real too. And girl, them marrying each other seems a karmatic response to me. LOL. Trash attracts trash. Fuck them both. You deserve the best. The ex responds and says, 
Absolutely. In the beginning when I spoke out, some folks, including the couple with McDonald's french fry hair, was assuming I'm jealous of their relationship or trying to interfere in their marriage. Also, they're saying like McDonald's french fry hair is like a drag or whatever, but I fully identify with McDonald's french fry uh, hair now because I have dyed my hair from brown to blonde and then blonde to lighter blonde. And let me tell you, my hair has never been in the worst condition. <laughs> <laughs> that it's been in now. It looks really dry right now because I just got a shower and put product in it. But if you've dyed your hair, please let me know the best hair masks. <laughs> How I can redeem my hair. I feel like if I was to dye it again, it would fall out. Again, might be a look, but we'll see. Absolutely, in the beginning, the french fry hair. No, I celebrate that they're together. Oh, we have someone celebrating. I hope they stay together forever so no one else will be a victim to them. I was so excited about their marriage. They look like they don't have anything in common, but they actually do. They both lack personality, are narcissistic, pathological liars, both obsessed with money, and both have a history of not so good things. They're a match made in hell. Then we go on. Someone said, not them, just for the record, my R word asked to meet up with me the next day after it happened. I was super sweet and polite and told him that my sisters were in town and that I had a party to go to. Your experience is not only 100% valid, but it is common. I hope you left um, a C-U-N-T-Y comment um, that someone left off of your back. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. Then they responded saying, thank you. And I'm so sorry that these horrible humans exist and that you had to go through that. And now rereading my text, I mean, I could have been less passive aggressive, sarcastic, but I think I was still processing the fact that I had anger inside from being manipulated. And I also didn't know it was safe to express that I had been, um, you know, going through this and that he's done this to another person. I definitely would have continued to talk to him kindly. It was clicked for me once I found out about Daphne's situation again, which is the ex that has spoken up um, about Moses, um, was it allegedly stealthing her? Um, which was something I didn't even know the term of until um, Daphne spoke about that. And again, I wanna say that in creating these videos, specifically with recent things that have happened within YouTube news and stuff like that, maybe that aren't so positive, I have been so educated on so many different terminologies, so many different things, so many different court proceedings from lawsuits on a completely different scale. Like, what about you? Like, I would have never anticipated that, number one, we would have been going down this route. Um, and two, that I've learned so much along the way. All right. All right, now we go down. They continue to say, I get it. I've seen a lot of cruel comments and also people claiming that it's not real. So maybe you have to question everything. But if I can offer any advice to serious matters that affect real people, including the ones that you're referencing, um, we live in an age of information and it's quite accessible to research this stuff instead of just questioning and putting the burden of education on someone who's still processing their trauma from this person. That's also the reason why I clearly stated I didn't want to discuss my body as I don't feel like I need to or want to go into detail about it as it serves no one besides entertainment for some folks. I came forward to support a young 23 year old who was willing and wanted to come forward about her situation because it mirrored mine. And then someone responds saying, I'm very sorry if I offended you in any way. Asking to be educated was specifically regarding your situation and not in general because that is what it is at hand, what we're talking about. Otherwise, generally, I would have taken the time to research. I was also raised by someone who told me to get the truth out, then go to the source. Maybe my way is different than other people online because it's the facts I'm interested in, not the gossip, again, when it comes to serious matters. Again, though, this is my apologies. So for the most part, I feel like there's a respectful conversation going on here, which is rare to find on Reddit, let me tell you, let me fucking tell you. Uh, I want to know your opinion on how this is playing off with people responding and them responding and, you know, the people that were maybe not believing them and questioning them more so than believing, and then the ex response. Again, we do not know a name of the ex, it's just Catnips, fabulous name, um, that we have been shown time and time again on Reddit. They say, yes, you can find all the sources with some information on my personal or Daphne's accounts literally here on the sub, along with the H3H3 subreddit, and interesting enough, with the other subs, there are women he has used Ila's name and status for. Allegedly, 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 I'm just repeating what has been stated here. 
Someone responded saying, bruh, he impersonated Ela to talk to other women. This gets more vile. I believe you in your experiences and they'll do whatever it takes. And then the ex, alleged ex, responds and says, no, no, he pretended to be Ela. He went on her Instagram to poach female fans and tried but failed miserably in snagging them. A few of the ladies contacted me when I originally posted on the original sub. Hold on. Hold on. We have just been told for the first time ever that allegedly this person was allegedly using his older sister's alleged Instagram account to allegedly message people wanting alleged intercourse. Allegedly. I don't think we've ever been told that before. That is... That's not normal. That's not okay. That's quite frankly disgusting. There's no other way to put that. Again, this is all alleged. And I'm not saying this is all alleged to be disrespectful or um, appear disingenuous. You know, I know a lot of you get it, if not most of you. But whenever I'm approaching this in a video and I'm reading off some, what someone else is saying on the internet, it's not me saying it. So I want to say allegedly on the behalf of me saying this, I completely support anyone who is willing to speak up and I will always be that way. Um, but just for the sake of onlineness and the fact that this is attached to my name, I say that. So just to kind of let you know that, to kind of let you know where I'm at with that. Um, but I know that most of you completely understand that because every other channel has to say it as well. And again, it's not any of us not believing victims. It's just us trying to protect ourselves because this is what's going to happen. Now I'm going on a little tangent here. If we're to repeat claims, and we don't say allegedly, the person in question might sue us rather than suing the ex speaking up because normally, say a channel that's a drama channel that has way more clout than we have, they will probably give the message of the person off to way more ears. So that person is the threat more so than the ex who's speaking up. So then that person will be the one that would get sued. So if you wanna know why all your YouTubers um, say allegedly and stuff like that, I know it's very clear, like, oh, not to get sued. That's kind of the ins and outs of it. Um, and again, that, that was stuff that I learned as well within the past year through having so many amazing legal friends through in this field. And also I have a lot of family members who are involved in legal as well. And I know a lot of people um, think that I'm not clever and think that I don't know what I'm doing with my videos. But I mean, I've been here a while now and I don't put anything out without running it past those kind of people. Um, because I just want to come on here and give you the, the, the tea, the drama, the real life stories. And I'm going to do that in the correct way. I don't know why we went on that tangent. Someone said, I don't think so. How long ago was that? And then now talking about the uh, kittens, I assume catnip said he had the original two kittens, snow and rain when I was with him inside the house at all times. So again, we've talked extensively about Moses giving up the cats. And this ex is saying that whenever they were with Moses, Moses had the cats. So again, something to note about timelines. And I have been seeing a lot of people stitching together the timelines and there is a lot of consistencies here. Again, it's not anyone not believing them. Just a lot of people, especially within this field who have an overload of information, like piecing it together. And they are seeing that a lot of the stories that this person is telling match up with what Moses' life was like at that time. Again, do with that what you will. Someone said, wait, you knew him personally? So again, this kind of feeds more into the fact that people want to know more about this person. They said, yeah, hey, I'm the person he had dated exclusively for a few months before slash when, oh, keyword when, he was dating Daphne, who was 23, aka the little Korean Trisha mentioned in her eating videos, then further appropriated by pretending to be an Asian K-pop fan or whatever that was. Again, with Trisha, like, it, this is so shocking and disgusting to hear, but with Trisha, unfortunately, I'm like, yeah, that sounds like tr something Trisha would do. We go on. I will point out, though, that he did not need to present proof of marriage to renew his green card unless something happened and he had a situation placed on his renewal status. Even, and by the way, that's one of the main reasons, if you want a little insight, that Trisha was not engaging with drama up until the wedding is because if there was anything that went so wrong with Moses publicly, it could have been attached to their marriage records and it could have messed up a lot of the paperwork, just to kind of let you know on that as well, whenever green cards are involved and the United States are looking into who this person is, do we want to sign them up? There's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of 
there are research done on these people and it's very apparent with this person by saying that. And he had a stipulation placed on his renewal. Even with divorce, you can apply slash keep your green card on your own. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh, I, did, I literally did not know that. I thought you always had to be in the marriage to have the green card. I did not know that you got to keep it after you married someone that then gave you a green card. I, I genuinely did not know that. I don't know if that's true though. Please let me know if you know. Uh, married to keep your green card technically is responsible for you. So the person that you marry into, they're responsible for you until 10 years or until they get citizenship if you ever wish to after divorce. Green card by marriage is a sponsorship. Oh, it's making sense to me now. Okay, and then you can further go on to get citizenship. I get a now. Um, green card is sponsorship. Uh, legally, you're promising the government that you're vouching for your spouse and that you will make sure that they don't have to rely on the American government for financial assistance. Kind of makes sense why he said he was putting off getting his citizenship as a plan B. Makes more sense to me now. All right, and then someone said about Moses, midlife crisis much with the hair and jacket combo. And then Catnips responds and says, he's trying to pretend that he has a personality. So again, this was a very bad breakup, if you could tell. I knew he was insecure whenever we lined up for bagels. Oh, I miss bagels. I miss bagels. Oh, I'm... Oh. I wish they wouldn't say like keywords that like distract me, but I miss bagels. New York style bagels. Oh my god. Oh. New York, you did them bagels right. Everything bagels. Oh my god. And I make them here and they're not good. It's also my really shit cooking. <laughs> um, near my house and I lived in a more artistic head part of LA. And randomly he said, I could never be someone who tries to be hip. Look at all these people who care so much about what they're wearing. I have to come with so much wisdom and peace that I don't need flashy clothes. I buy clothes for softness, which again is so funny considering that Moses married Trisha, if this is true, and he's like criticizing people for wearing flashy clothes and just needing clothes as a personality trait whenever that's like Trisha's brand. And Trisha would say that that's her brand. As he was wearing a cringe zip up blue hoodie with a blue black or blue octopus on it as a 43 year old man. And no one asked or said anything about the clothes. And then they go on to say, thank you. It was kind of confusing for a good minute, not in terms of liking him. That ship sailed quick. At first, he was basically conning Trisha. Then he started saying that she was A-B-U-S-I-N-G-ing him, which again ha has been things that they both publicly talked about. Doesn't make it okay if they talked about it, people, but they have talked about it. Then saying he's not scared and that he can control her. Then saying that she's powerful, but he's smarter than her, so he's in control. What a, if this is true, what a great marriage. Jesus. Then on camera, pretending to be a teenage couple. So it's like, um, do you need help or what? I'm confused. Telling me she dumped him and that he went running to Ela and Ethan's house and they made him passed out or something. And that Thanksgiving plans were cancelled and that he was going to be all alone and sad. He tried to get me to come to his shack of terror to which I changed the subject. Then, unless the timeline is getting blurry due to quarantine brain, I'm pretty sure he whatever time said that he's finally done and that Ethan and Ela take his side. Against Trisha, I would assume. Literally showed me TikToks Trisha posted complaining about exes never buying her gifts and all that she's manifesting a boyfriend who gifts and isn't cheap saying that she's crazy and a liar. Then in a few days, he bought her a diamond necklace and they were back together. Which is true, by the way, in terms of the necklace and them being back together, that is something that did actually happen. <laughs> Trisha was complaining about exes never buying her anything. Then Moses came back into the scene with like this flashy, amazing necklace. The way to the woman's heart. <laughs> Treat her like shit, then buy her a necklace. <laughs> Gosh, I think he was just mad. He thought he failed his mission with Trisha. Then she sent him clues via TikTok that she can be bought just like him. So they're kind of the same person. Anyways, that was a bit of a tangent, but I do know this is a trauma response over explaining. So y'all stop triggering me. And we only have three more. Someone said, unfortunately, that fam family dynamic isn't uncommon in certain parts of the world. I always suspected that his issues stem from everything you just described to us. While Potatoes gives off the appearance of being independent, she is very codependent and easily manipulated. 
That's what he knows, what he's used to. He's so arrogant that he probably thinks he's too smart to be used by her. He's an idiot. With Potatas, he won't stop to be as simple to untangle himself from her once he's done. She will chew him and spit him out. They are both each other's karma. And then Catnips goes on to say, Yes, absolutely, we naturally trauma bond. It's what we know. So although he really was disrespectful and belittling, saying things about his mother and how weak codependent, um, how she has no thought on her own, his hateful, his hateful speech towards women, and particularly his mother, he weaponizes other women and sees them as nothing but weak and conquerable. Someone said, and maybe that's why he wanted to marry her quickly, before her love turned to hate. And then Catnips goes on to say, I mean, I think he thinks in this situation that he can get what he truly loves out of it, which is money, control, and a platform. And then the final thing says, Moda <laughs> Moses fetishizes younger people, 22 to 28, might go younger than 22 to be exact. Again, this is all alleged and all of these are all just someone speaking up. And I'm going to say that they're all alleged. We do not know the ins and outs. If they had a relationship, what their relationship was like, what their dynamic was like. We don't know what Moses was saying about Trisha. Well, we actually do, but we don't know the ins and outs of it. So I do just want to give that disclaimer. But with that being said, I want to know your opinion on all that. My brain cannot move past the fact that we were told that allegedly he was using Ela's Instagram account to message girls. I'm sorry. Mucker, I need to know your opinion on this. Please talk to me below about it. I love you so fucking much. Thank you for watching this video and I appreciate your time and I will see you in my next one. Stay safe, stay gorgeous. I love you. Bye. Mwah.